I have made scrolls of them, I said. I have made scrolls of some of these poems. They are free for you to take home. Feel free. There's some over here and there's some up there. And you can take as many as you want. There's, there's different poems. And if you want to scroll through them, while you're welcome to. I'm staying away from the poems that are the nuclear bombs tonight. Instead, I'm trying to empower you to believe in the dream within you of who you are. And to have compassion. So, the first poem I'm going to read is Compassion. And it also made it into the Lyrical Iowa, the 67th edition. And if you're interested in that, I also have how to get into that over there. I'll say all that. Compassion. So if I said to you, look, over there is a flower dying. And the bucket has a hole. And the floor creaks, and the fridge hums, and the form of things now gone. So if I said to you, look, over there, your compassion to the whole, to water the flower, as the floor creaks, and the fridge comes, with the former things now gone, would you go? Mm -hmm. Maybe I will also sing that for you. Every one of you are strong. And I wrote this poem at a time in my life where I didn't know if I was strong. I know that all of us as human beings question that from time to night, time, whether you're strong at this or you're strong at that. And whatever you want to do that's good and it's, it's beneficial and it's upright and, and whatever, be brave. Like my dad would say, grit and bear it and be brave. So this is my brave song. Um, the hour is now when you can decide to stand firm in your ground without fear, without weakness, for you are the holder of your dreams. Let nothing shoot them down or hold them back. Take a chance to run with nature. When the wind sails high beyond, and there you are, as strong as eagles sing, believing in all that you are. Thank you. And sometimes we don't have somebody there, but we have faith in ourselves and in whatever creator you believe in, you just gotta be brave. So you are strong. And to keep with that thing, I do get happy. Sometimes it's things in our life to overcome. Like I said that I have an invisible illness. So I've used my music and my poetry and, and drawing as a means to overcome sadness, to overcome pain, to overcome so many different emotions. And so can you. So can you. Whether you're a poet, whether you're an artist, whether you're a musician, you can turn that music on and the music is medicine to you. You can go to the art gallery upstairs and look at somebody's painting and that's medicine to you. You can open up your books of poetry or whatever book of beautiful words, and that's medicine. And whatever you're good at, whatever you do, that can help you overcome. And when my kids left and my father died and my mother died, I didn't know what to do with myself. So I began to do my music and my art and my poetry, and it helped me overcome. Like a web dangling in the breeze and hanging on. 
I am like thread, braided, clinging to the fiber, overcome. It has been done. And when things about to break, another braid in which to braid, another thread to thread again. The dream is you. The dream is you. And you are only what you care to be. What inside you care to dream. Like a book that only you can know the end. And only you can know. And then when the story's over, like all things must turn, Behind each and every page, you are another new and learning touch of what dreams and hopes and desires are made of if you reach.